lovelies, I'm Madame Faux Cliché, welcome to Let Me Make Cake. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made out of this corset, which I picked up on eBay for around $30. Now, it was just a plain silky fabric, but I covered it with this other fabric, which was actually a pair of pillowcases that I picked up in an off shop. It also had this um, section on it where it had this striped fabric, and I thought pretty early on that I wanted to do a section of bows. If you check out my Pinterest page, you'll see in the costume board that a lot of dresses around 17th and 18th century had this um, bow look, and so that's what, something I wanted to achieve on the corset. If you don't have a lot of confidence with sewing, I just want to encourage you to give something like this project a go. I'm not a confident sewer. I certainly wasn't confident with the idea of putting together a corset for scratch with all the boning and all the pieces that had to be put together. It's really a big, difficult jigsaw puzzle. So I was quite happy to pick one up online for not too much and then give it a makeover. Now the idea that I had is that I wanted to, it to look like the bodice of a dress and not so much look like a piece of lingerie. I didn't film everything step by step. Obviously I didn't film myself sitting down doing all of the sewing parts because you know sometimes I just like to relax in front of the TV and, and make things and not be set up in front of the camera doing things. I figure you know it's pretty straightforward. I just hand sewed it all along here. With this white fabric um, it's fantastic because it really hides all the stitches. If you look at the back, you probably can't see, but it is quite messy at the back. But I don't care about that because nobody's going to see that. And I hope you enjoy this video. Bye for now, lovelies. This is what my corset looks like now. First step was to remove everything from the corset. I've taken off the lace and the ribbons. I've just used a pair of scissors and just cut it off. And I use the unpicker to unpick all of the lace. I've also prepared my fabric. Now I've got a texture and as you can see, I've drawn, tried to leave about a centimeter or so and I've just traced around the outside of the corset here. So then now I've got a really rough template of the corset and I'm just gonna trim that and cut that out. What I did was I got some PVA glue and I drizzled it all over the top of the corset everywhere. Just imagine, use your imagination. I covered all the corset with PVA glue and I got a brush and I spread the glue around a bit. And then I got the material and I placed it over the top and I kind of stuck it down. And when it was a bit stuck, I got more PVA glue and I put PVA glue all over the top of the fabric and again I used the brush and I spread it all out. And then I left it to dry overnight. It didn't stick the fabric together like I sort of hoped it would, but it's kind of bonded this top piece and given it a better shape and it's made the fabric much thicker. It's trim that I picked up at Lingcraft earlier today. And what I'm going to do is this trim is actually going to go right around the edge. So it doesn't matter if it's not measured perfectly, if it's not cut totally accurate, you just make it roughly about a centimeter from the edge and it's all going to be covered by the trim anyway. And the trim is just gonna basically go right around the edge and surround the edge. Now, I'm doing this basically no sewing or at least no sewing with a sewing machine. So I've gone out and I've bought some hem web and I'm that's basically it's double it's iron on and it's sticky on both sides so basically it will bond the fabric together it's a bit kind of like sticky tape but you iron it on and it bonds fabric um, but I it works okay I've used it before when I've custom made jeans 
but it's it's something that will kind of get it stuck but I don't think you necessarily want to rely on it if you're wanting to make a quick costume for Halloween or for a party or something and you know you're not really going to be wearing it tons and you're not going to be washing a lot it's probably fine but if you want to do something more substantial then obviously you're going to want to use a sewing machine and sew around it or hand sew it okay so I'm just going to use a bonding tape for now and then I will probably sit down and hand sew it because I don't mind doing hand sewing Excuse me. as you can see I've cut my uh, well it's braid what is it lace with ribbon <laughs> lace with ribbon to size and I've lined up the iron-on interfacing underneath and I'm sorry not interfacing hemming tape and that's basically it's just ready to iron now and it's looking really pretty and I'm really excited it's coming along quite well so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna iron that on I'm probably not gonna show you um, you just have to imagine me ironing it's kind of gonna look like this do, 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 do. my shoulders are really killing me so I'm gonna probably be doing it in a really awkward way with my left hand so I'm not gonna actually film it but you can imagine I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about how I made the corset or anything else, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Bye, lovelies. Voilà mon passeport. Ah, je la dépasse. Un baguette. Ha ha. Un baguette. Ha ha.